Okay, next, uh, since we've already cut that 10 yards of wool uh, into strips, remember I doubled up the wool, cut into strips are about two inches thick. The next thing I have to do is cut it into smaller sections. So the section that I size is gonna be based on the iron because the these are iron on patches. Because it looks like a finished one, the patches have to be ironed on. So the next cut has to be small enough to fit on the iron because they have to be ironed on. Okay, so I measured that and it came out to be this size right here. Okay, so the table. It's about, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six and a half, a little bit more than six and a half inches. Okay, so now I'm cutting uh, as many as I can this size uh, using the cutting board and I take a pencil on the line, that's where I'm gonna cut it from, on that line, and I'll take these lengths of wool now and just butt up against that piece of wood so I know every, how long to cut it each time I do that. Put the little guide right on that same line that the pencil line these up, lines me up with. Take that ruler cutter and just cut it. Drop the side, slide it up. Put the guide on there and then cut again. And sometimes it doesn't cut all the way like it shows there. Right. Up to the wood. You can use anything else to back it up or cut these any other way you want. This is just the way that I found works well. Cut. At the end of this, there's going to be a little section that's a little bit too short. So I can probably put on three scapulars instead of four. And then another cut. And as you can see, this is too small to make another cut. But it's, uh, if I, when I cut it in half, it'll be big enough to make... Uh, maybe two scapulars. Okay.